tensile is a fancy way of saying how much force it takes to make a film break. The standard test method, D882, eliminates a lot of the subjectivity. In other words, if I want to say that my competitor's film is weak, I say, see, this is a competitor's film. If I want to say that my film is strong, I say, see how strong my film is? It's an old salesman's trick. So what we need to do is pull the film apart at a constant speed to eliminate the subjectivity. Start with a specimen that's one inch wide. I don't know if you can pick up on there. And then when it's, it's failed, it will be elongated to a certain amount like this. What we're going to have here when we're done is we'll get a display of what's called the stress and strain curve. Now, I don't want to get too deep into what's called tensile yield because that can be spun at a, a number of different ways. What you really need to key on is just the amount of force that it takes to make the specimen break. So let's let her rip. This is almost as exciting as a COF test. It just takes a little longer. So, how many, let's see, what does it say? Can you translate that for me? It's basically the pounds for the yield point. Second. This is the pounds for the yield point, and then as the material stress uh, is subjected to stress, the strain increases until we reach our break point, and then it fails. So we have our stress curve versus our strain. And how much force? How much force did it take to make it break? Uh, roughly, the stress at break is 3750 psi, and the strain at break was about 600 percent. Okay, there you have it expressed in both pounds per square inch and percent. That's ASTM D882.